Hello guys. So here we're gonna create our first custom application. But please take note. Thanks for to be working with this documentation extensively because this is the official book or reverence for Frappy framework. So the first thing I'm gonna do here is create a custom app. But as we say, what is an app? From this link, you can click on the left side to get what an app says. Frappy app is a Python package that uses the Frappy framework. That means it's built to be dependent on the Frappy app or Frappy framework itself and can be found in the apps directory. And to create a, create a custom app, we use the keyword bench or the command bench new app, the name of the app. At the end, we will fill in the information needed to create our app so first thing first is be sure your virtual machine is left and running can minimize that and log into your server I have to zoom this so you can see it very well. Okay. See the dev bench. I'm working on dev bench. First, list the apps. We can see we have on ERPNS and Frappy here. And at the same time, open the Atom. Or make the Atom view this using the description in the earlier uh, videos about how to connect the source code to an IDE. We will create a bench, a new app. I'll call it estate underscore app. We are going to be asked a series of questions. All we do is feed in information. App title. By default, the framework will look at the name you specified. If an underscore is found, it will turn that to space and the, the app title will be in title case, Python title case. So I'm going to leave it as a state app. Next, it's going to ask for app, uh, app description. I'll type for, for an app for real estate system. Who published it? You can type in your name there. Your email. Okay, for the now, let me just test our site.com. Then, app icon this is no longer necessary on it. App color is no longer necessary. License you can have a license, maybe MIT, GL to general public license GPL I'll leave it as MIT this will install the application into the system for us okay complete for the now we have a skeletal framework or a skeletal app Right now, when you click on this left hand side on the Atom IDK, you click on this left hand side, you'll see it updates and you can find this estate app. Okay, um, I could also do this open this because once you are logged in through this server, you have this menu on your left hand side. Can easily log into your server, go back to the apps, and you see your app here. But right now, this app is in a very skeletal stage, it is completely empty. The only thing you find in it, let's use the editor, is the setup requirements by default, meaning that 
the required app is Rapi. The setup of the profile contains the information. It contains the app name and other information. Then, when you log into this or expand this, you expand this app name itself. You have you have two directories. You have the root app folder and the app folder itself with the same name. This JIT will hold all the changes you've made to the app. This is the app folder. It has the same structure as Frappe or ARP Next folder. Dropping down ARP Next, click on ARP Next again. You see it's the same folder structure. I'll minimize this and expand this estate app. First, you find our patches, modules, hooks. The hook um, contain basic configurations. We'll end up tweaking this configuration when we start working with event manager hooks and some other information. Plugging in, plugging in JavaScript or some Python code to the default ERP next or Frappe document types. This website is where we will create our website and then after creating a doc type we will write our HTML um, CSS and other files and also integrating the bootstrap template specified in the previous video. This goes for the website as well. This public is for the file static files. This is the main module. Right now the module is empty, no doc type exists in the module yet. So this is what our app contains after creation or after creating it. You can as well come to this page and look at the directory structure. So the directory structure of the app will look something like this. You have this app slash apps, meaning the app folder or from here app folder slash the name of the app. That's what you have here, which is the custom app. And in the custom app, we have the main app name on its own. This is where the main app contents are. You have your init, your configuration, you have custom app again. This is the module name. Okay, let me define this once more or explain something. Yeah. I'll close this. When you are in your app or this app's directory, the first folder name is the root. The second Define the second you find which is a, a child of this root with the same name is the main app directory. Why this third one you encountered again is the module directory, and module contains doc types. So you have the root, you have the child, which is the main app, and when you encounter that same name again. You have what module. I'll close this use the RP next to explain this. This is the main folder, the main root folder for the apps and configurations. The next ERP next is the main ERP next app folder. But you'll be surprised that you did not see any folder name here called ERP next. All these other ones are modules. Education is a module, healthcare is a module, payroll is a module, I believe. When you open each of those modules, you find a doc type folder and some other information. So take note, when your app, you open your app, you find the same name, this is the main app, and which other one you find, any other module you create, will be shown on this list. So that's just the explanation I want to, to get clear. So you have your custom app, which is the module folder. Then you have your hooks.py, the modules, the patches. This public contains static files. This is for injected HTML templates for website. And this is the new website root folder. So this is it for the now that has to consign creating custom web application. Thanks for watching and progress in the next section.